What's up y'all? This is Dwayna aka Glamazon 1026 and welcome back to the Glam Room. Today we're going to be doing a nail tutorial for minimalistic nails. So let's get started. For this design I'll be using the Just Peachy by Plugged Acrylics as well as Valentino's Classic Nude. For my pinky I'm going in with Classic Nude and this is going to be a full Classic Nude nail. I kind of messed up because there was hair on my nail and so the Valentino uh, powder got, it kind of stiffened up on me, <laughs> but it's okay. I was able to flatten it out. So yeah, these are going to be like super long and they're going to be very, like I said, minimalistic. I've been seeing this design on Pinterest a lot and so I decided I wanted to try it. Um, so this first nail is going to be a long coffin shaped nail. It's going to be all classic nude. Now the ring finger is going to be an ombre with the just peachy at the top and classic nude at the bottom. And the Just Beachy acrylic, it kind of, I think I was using too much uh, monomer with it because it kind of ran on me a lot, um, no matter how much I did. So I just, it took a while for me to build that color up and to build the shape up. And now we're going to put the Classic Nude down by the um, cuticle and then go back over it with some of the Just Peachy just to make sure that ombre is nice and ombre -ed. Then on the middle finger, we're going to go in with Classic Nude again. This was a really, really simple but intricate set. I really loved it while I had it. And then we're doing another full classic nude nail. It's really important to use the body of the brush to form the tip of the nail so that you don't have too much runoff and you don't have to do that much filing when you're finished. I think this was probably the best um, sculpted nail set I've ever done because I was really careful with that. And then the thumb is going to be like the ring finger which is the Just Peachy and Classic Nude Ombre. I apologize for my head and my glasses getting in the way. So here are the nails before they were filed after I took them off of the forms. They look pretty good, nice and thin. And then we're going to skip to after they've been filed and buffed. We're going to do a design on the nails that are only classic nude. So this is an orally regular polish. I wanted 
a mint green to go with the peach, but I did not have a gel polish in mint green, so I just used this oily one. Um, and I'm using this Beatles brush that I got from Amazon to just draw like freehand some curvy lines on my pinky, middle, and pointer finger. So I kind of just sketched it out and then I went back over it and made it thicker, you know, kind of cleaned it up a little bit so that it would be nice and sharp. And then I went over around that with some white paint after that dried. This is white gel paint, so this will be cured in the lamp. And then after that, I went with some foil gel glue because I wanted some gold in this. And then after I cured that in the lamp for 60 seconds, I just took the foil and just, you know, pressed it on there. I would say to do the gold first because the gel polish will also pick up, the white gel polish will also pick up the foil, so you don't want to have to go back and clean that up. So I'll just do the gold um, foil first and then do the rest of the colors. Now I'm going in with the Glitter Bells No White Top Coat. The uh, ombre fingers have already been um, top coated. And after we finish applying the top coat, we're going to cure that in the lamp for another 60 seconds. And then put on the Love by Verde cuticle oil. And this is the finished product. I think they are so cute. I really love this set. These were just like the best ones I've ever done. They're so nice and thin. They have good apexes. Oh, I'm in love. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Click the notification bell so that you can be a part of the Glam Fam and know exactly when I upload. Also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Glamazon1026. And I'll see you guys in my next video.